What is up, YouTube? We're back to another video. This video, we're going over how to make coins with the new In Case You Missed It program coming out today. The new cards we have we have cards like A7 Zavin Collins, A7 Rashawn Slater, A7 Devontae Smith, A7 Patrick Sertain, and A7 Kevon Thibodeau. There, we do have an overall increase. Last time the In Case You Missed It cards came out, they were 86 overall cards, which means. The set is probably gonna be updated. New the new set. I don't know if it's gonna be 88 plus still. Maybe they might add 84s to the game. So maybe it's like 484s for 85 plus or something stupid, like, something like 86 plus or something stupid like that. Who knows? Maybe they just maybe the set cost um 485s something for for 87 overall. Who knows? I really don't know. But look at the price right now. On these cards, these cards have went down a lot. You see, like two all under three hundred K from these big ones, like Andrew Thomas. He was over three hundred K before. Some of the cards they're going down a little bit. I expect them to go down a lot more tomorrow because packs are gonna have probably better odds now because they're actually odds will be increased because uh, overall went up. So we'll see a lot of these cards go down a lot. But this video gets ten likes. I will open some train. I'll open the train reroll pack for in case you missed it tomorrow or tech, I guess today. Whatever, I'll open the train reroll for you guys. But going over how to make coins tomorrow, if we have A2, A3 still, I'm going to expect A2, A3s to be flying out of packs more often than normal because the, um, the reroll and all the stuff are, are going to have increased odds because of the overall increase. Every time there's an overall increase, the pack odds go up a little bit. So, if we just look at like right now, we have all these. We see all these cards going for around 24, 25k for A2s and the A3s go for 46, 45. So, I'm if I would, if let's just say for example, the set stays, let's say the set goes to 5 A3s instead, instead of the 4 A3s and A2, I would expect the cards, the A3s actually might, if the set is like that, I expect that set actually go up in price. I expect these A3s go to 50k. Because um, 583s for, for 85 plus would be a really good pack with the A7s in it for people. Because Patrick Chain's gonna be, that new Patrick Chain's gonna be like 600k, honestly. 600, probably six, 700k coins. And the Body Smith will be very, really like five, 600k also. Because those are core positions that are hard to get. And the pack is gonna be a big gamble. But tomorrow, Phil, today, I gotta stop saying tomorrow. Filters today. When content comes out, filters like doing each going position by position for AKC Mystic cards will be on fire, I would assume. Because people are going to be opening a lot of packs because they see these new um, A7 World cards and we're like, let's go. Let's, oh, we want some, I want this new card. I want this new patch retain and all that stuff. So A2, A3 stamping will be always will be really good, like normal. A to 81 for AKC Mystic is a different story because they're weird. Because these cards go for a little bit more, at least like currently. They might, they probably will crash again tomorrow. With people open rerolls. But I would not stay away from A two A ones unless you can get for really cheap. I would I would say A two A threes. Flip these things. Buy them for 35, 40 k. Flip them back for fifty or whatever. How much the price is going for unfiltered. The way you're gonna find the unfiltered price is you're gonna go over here. Go over to the new set. Wherever, whatever the new set is, you flick your right stick up to see the new cards for the new set. And you see A3s right here. That's your unfiltered price. So you we were right here, they're 45k. We would want to buy for like 37, 36k to make a few, make like 4,000 profit each card. Same thing as in A2s. We want to get A2s for in case you missed an example right now. They're going for 24k, we want to go for around 19k. So we make a few thousand. So it's worth our while to do, you know. Um, nothing. Nothing. I think is going to be really good tomorrow. I feel like eighty-five sniping for these new, these encased music cards are going to be like kind of crazy. I don't know. I don't know why, but I feel like it's been kind of crazy because, like, I, I just the pack guys go up. These cards not. These cards are going to be really common. I feel like. Like we're gonna get some of these cards probably for 60, 60 to seventy k, 
Like, if you can get a Jason Marlborough for, like, 100k or less tomorrow, I I could see him going back up in price a lot. I could see him go back up. But maybe not. I feel like if you're buying these cards for 60, 70k, it's going to be a safe show. Like, it would be a safe, it would be sort of safe. But you do have to, like, watch the market. If the market, if you see the whole market crashing all at once, don't, don't go and buy. Just wait for the market to settle. Unless you feel confident in yourself. Um, that market will go up on the cards. Um, more cards like these A6 overall cards we have. Cards that could, that could maybe go back up in price are going to be guys like Cody O'Connell could go back up in price a little bit. We have guys like, um, I mean, Andrew Thomas could, but they're also having the right tackle tomorrow. Uh, Ben Powers could definitely go back up a little bit. Uh, that's basically for all in offense. Defense wise. Defense is really stacked. Like, I mean, Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb is still, I think, a pretty good linebacker, one of the top linebackers in the game. Chris Wilkins is probably one of the best D tackles in the game still. Derwin and Minka are obviously gonna, they're gonna keep the price. They, they might go down to three fifty k max. Like these cards are still the best, like some of the best safeties in the game. They're not going down, especially Minka. Minka is like the best free safety in the game still. I mean, you really. It's between him and Caleb Downs, I think, I'm pretty sure right now. I mean, Minka might be better. Just because I just because Minka, Minka same speed, but uh, I feel like it's better. It's better have the A3 Caleb Downs or have both of them on the field, Caleb and Minka. Like look at the difference between them. Like Caleb Downs is barely better, but Minka has better height. So I could see Minka staying up, up in the 400k's price range. But basically what, basically what I'm saying is best thing to do is sniping A2, A3 overall. Cards could be a case domestic card. It could be conference stories. Conference stories and other, pro other programs won't be like, people won't be looking at them as much because it's the program the day before. Packets will go up. So the overall market will go down on, on a lot of cards. Like, you might see some types up. you might see a lot of snipes up just like, even on filters list. Like, um, you see snipes on the 88 filter, 88 to 90 filter. Um, let's go show you real quick. Go cool legendary here. You could definitely see some of these cards going for cheap. I could definitely see it. Like, some of these cards might get thrown up for cheap because people are ripping packs and some of these, some of these cards might just fly out. Might, they must probably fly out of packs because of the pack odds increase. Who's are burden down to 890 is actually kind of crazy. Kind of surprised about that one. What, what speed is he? He's 88 speed, right? Yeah, 88 speed. He's still the fastest receiver in the game, but these receivers are getting close. They're getting close to him now. Really close. But what I would recommend doing tomorrow, A283 sniping. You, If you want, you can do 81 to 81. I feel like A283 will be the best. Then 84, 85 will actually be pretty nice tomorrow, I feel. Then um, 80 to 81 will be decent. I feel like if you have low coins, you can do that, but don't really waste your time, I would feel like. 86, 87, if you want to go for the big snipe, there's to be it's gonna be a lot of luck based for those cards, I feel. Um But one investment I I I am doing right now. I, I know I'm not really a big investor, or like I might it's not I might not be that smart to do. But if you go look at stack cards right now, um let's go sort by I'll sort by my, my inventory real quick. Stracker, like the defense back Stracker, I'm investing in this thing because people are getting a lot out of it. Their level, their levels right now. People are getting these from levels. They're like I think these things are gonna go back up to 30k. So like I'm buying these things for like 16k or less, just chilling out and just hold on to them because worst case scenario, I lose a few k. It's oh well. Be like, like those they can go down to 9k for a quick sale. Same thing as like quarterback. Quarterback, I'm trying to get for like 11k, like. 10, 11k, because worst case, I'd lose a thousand or two out of them. Like, I'm not mad about it. I feel like these are going to go back to like 17, 18, 19k, hopefully. These people always make, people always want strat cards, and once you can't get them anymore, after um people always level up, level up all the way to level 50, then they're going to be wanted again. There's no way to get them, except for leveling. I right know. But, those are just some investments I'm doing. Um, LCD investing, the 
LTD Takario, the, the Takario corner, the comfort story card, he will not be that. I feel like he's going to be not an awful investment, but the thing is, you know, about, about him is he goes out of packs on Friday. So, like, he he's still in packs on today and on Thursday. So, he's going to be a guy that's going to be, you probably want to buy him on Thursday. If you want to buy him. He will be a decent investment. BC is the best corner in the game. At least, might be the best corner in the game. Best, best or second best corner in the game. Go look at his price right now. He, I think he is around 800k. So only bu only buying if you have two three mil, honestly for investment. Um, he's 700k actually right now. But if you guys have under mil, uh, flip in tomorrow. A two A threes, best way to flip. 8485s, I feel like second best. A to eighty ones and A six A seven. I feel like I'm about equal. But A to eighty ones, do that if you have under like two three hundred k. But Make sure to like and subscribe and make sure you get 10 likes. I'll do it in case you missed it. Reroll pack opening. That's all. See you all next time. Peace.